around for good. And I feel like, Ben, what I'm seeing is a divine turnaround where the enemy meant the coronavirus for bad because I don't believe God causes sickness on anybody, my personal theology. But I feel like where the enemy meant for bad, the enemy's playing right into God's hand. And that is that people are now shutting in in their homes and they're now tuning in online and they're now, you know, they're now getting away from the busyness of life and the busyness of sports and the busyness of concerts and they're getting shut in their home and they're encountering God in their home. And we, um, Andrew, by the way, guys, is on the board of our ministry. So he makes big decisions along with us for the ministry. And we've been talking about this six months ago. We had no clue about coronavirus. We had no clue. None of this was talked about. And we said, look, we need to get back to the living room. We need to, we need to bring revival into people's homes. Well, now all of a sudden people are saying, well, everyone's going to get quarantined to their home. And I'm thinking in my mind, I'm going, this is going to play right into God's hand for what God is saying and what God is doing. I know, Ben, you were recently even on Patricia King's show talking about, you know, the coronavirus, the spiritual implications. Share with us a bit, Ben, about what are you feeling in the spirit God is doing? I'm a believer, and I've heard you say this before. I know you're a believer, that what we're seeing in the natural is actually a reflection of the spiritual. I honestly believe that when it comes to anything happening in the natural, I believe it's something that's spiritual that's manifesting in the natural. Um, what, what's your feelings on this? Absolutely. Well, uh, j- just to let you know, I was at Patricia King's studio. I was an honor show, but I was at okay, a studio okay. sharing about it. And that was a hit. And actually, I was talking about coronavirus uh, uh, weeks ago, uh, even before it just blew up, because there's something that the Lord's been talking to me. Uh, Isaiah is about how when we abide in his glory, we are immune to every good. devil, every it's demonic good. attack. We are immune. So let's say immune, which means Come that on. our immune system and our body can supernaturally become strengthened because, you know, in the Holy Ghost, he is the creator. So as we abide in him in the lifestyle of prayer, as we rest, of course, physically, we take care of our body. We take our supplements. We sleep, you know, all those uh physical necessities that we need to do you know i mean we need to take care of our earthly temple because your Mm. body belongs to the lord but not just that but you know spiritually as you and i as we uh rest in the presence of god as we pray then we can actually supernaturally uh charge our immune system you know because our immune system is our defense system that fights off diseases that fights Mm. off uh you know uh, different things uh you know in the body, but our defense system can be supernaturally supercharged by the Come Holy on. Ghost. And, you know what does that mean? Yeah. White blood cells, red blood cells, because the Holy Ghost is the creator. So if you ask Him, then He will create within you new blood cells. If you ask Him, I'm telling you right now, He will create. And I love what Dr. Andrew was saying. You know, this coronavirus is quote unquote seems to be mutating, but do you know that you and I were also mutants? Do come you know on, that you and I on. we are human beings, but we're supernatural beings, which means that we're also mutating from glory to glory. Come all right. On, come you do on. not stay in the same body in the same package. Do you not know that we human beings, we as a human race species, we've lived longer than other any other species on planet Earth, which means that it's because we have the divine nature and attributes yes. of God. Yes. Which means that we're going to pass through this we're going to conquer this come on this too will pass all right all right but the thing is you know i think it's so significant because you know uh i believe isaiah in these days it's not going to be nuclear weapons it's Mm. going to be cellular weapons Mm. okay it's not going to be nuclear weapons not going to be nuclear missiles but human beings in their body we are the missile Mm. we are the weapon and that's one of the reasons why isaiah that the enemy is trying to uh even hinder this broadcast is because there's so many people coming online right now because they're not everywhere that's why the internet it probably is going to crash not tonight in jesus name but the internet will crash because there's even more people (laughs) logging onto the internet because they're not going out into public places that's why this is so important but you know all these things are crashing because we know that the kingdoms of the earth will fail come on we know that we know that the impure uh we know that the corrupt foundations of the earth are being shaken yeah and that's what's happening right now is because the earth is moaning and groaning yes. for souls the earth is moaning and groaning and there's a shaking that's happening because the lord is restoring righteousness and truth and into the foundations of come our on, nation and the foundations of the earth so right now it's actually the holy ghost that is bringing awakening and revival yes. the holy spirit is bringing uh you know a supernatural release in our immune system, in our bodies, and every single one of you, you know, we can begin to co-create with God because we're co-creators. Not only do we co-rule, we co-reign, you know, we're co-heirs, but we can co-create, which means that when you speak, 
things yes, happen. Yes. When, when you decree the healing virtue, the Bible says, send forth your word and I will be healed. And when we begin to speak, Amen. when we begin to move, when we begin to decree, things begin to shift and happen at the cellular level. So this is the one thing I believe that the Lord was showing me, Isaiah, is that the enemy actually released his onslaught. Come on. Uh, not through nuclear weapons, but through cellular weapons. And I'm telling you, people of God, this is going to be the next World War III type. Okay, and and you know it's so weird, and you know I, I'm I'm not a big end times type of preacher. I don't believe we are in the end times. I believe we're in the end of the end times. There's still Dude. so much time because there's many more souls to win, yes. and, there's, and there's many nations that have not yet heard the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. But I do believe that in these times right now, there's a shaking, and so the enemy is going to try to attack through the cellular level, even through different nations, even through different companies. Okay, listen, I believe that all. All of these things are being operated by, uh, you know, the demonic principalities come on, and come by on. people, by systems of the world of the earth, which is like, quote, unquote, the market of beasts, but by systems of the earth that are trying to control, trying mm. to restrict trying to inflict the market of beast or trying to inflict the, the spirit of the age into people. And so right now, what all of you and I, what we need to do, we need to be prayed up. Yes. We need to be, you know, we need to close every door to the enemy. Uh, you know, we need to be filled with the Holy Ghost because if you're filled with God, nothing will touch you. And Come this on. is... Uh, a spiritual uh, principle you know i mean every single week isaiah i travel i'm traveling i'm flying to different countries different cities different places but at the same time you know i i'm did we lose him I, I like think we might there we go. He's back. He's back. When you're in the glory, you can't be touched. Come on. And you know, I think this is something I've really been praying into and pressing into Isaiah is, you know, uh, so many ministries have been uh, exposed. So yes. many ministries have been uh, breaking apart. So many pastors have been committing yep. suicide. Yep. We're seeing a shaking happen in the, in, in the USA. Praise God. But you know, uh, there is such a realm and such a place where uh you know we can be so one with god that our ministry our future mm. our destiny our body our everything uh there's longevity and legacy that is produced from intimacy with god and i believe that's something that believers you and i we need to be dependent on the lord because medicine will fail science will come fail on, come on government, government will yes, fail yes. everything Listen, I love President Trump. You know, he is going to be reelected again in Jesus' name. But I believe that all of this, Dr. Andrew, and Go I would ahead. love to talk to you about this, but I believe that all of this is actually a plot of the enemy Come on. from from, from that from those systems and those parties that are trying to inflict fear and trying to yes. control and trying to, uh, you know, even stop the election. But like you said, Isaiah, this is going to boomerang as it happened with the impeachment process. Come on, every come unjust, on, come every on. evil corrupt thing is going to boomerang. There's going to be a boomerang effect. So one thing that the Lord did show me is that even though the Dow, all right, even though the stock market went so down, but we're going to go up. Come on. Okay. Listen, the, the Bible is so clear. All right. There's a sabbatical year in every single season. All right. There's always a sabbatical year. The Jewish people, the Israels, the Israelis understand this. But every seventh year, it's a sabbatical year. And if we study in, in, in America and USA, every seven years, there seems to be a sort of crash. There yeah, seems to yeah. be a dip. OK, and whenever there's a dip, that means it's going to surge. Come on, it's going to increase, which means that I believe in the, in the time of April, which is resurrection power, Passover, Easter time, there's going to be resurrection of our economy. There's going to be a resurrection, uh, you know, of people's health, of people's bodies. But right now there is a dip right now. There is maybe a death or deaths yeah. right now. There is a time yeah. where it seems to be quiet, difficult. Uh, silent uh, trials and tribulations is through that you will enter into the kingdom of God, Apostle Paul says. But there's going to be an increase. There's going to be a surge. And so why is this so important? Because I, I really hope you guys hear those who have ears to hear and eyes to see, this is going to be the time of your come up. Come this on, is gonna come be on, the time say it. Of your we're having some technical difficulties here. I think we're losing them. Into death and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But those who had eyes to see and ears to hear, they're prepared. They were ready. They actually came up. Their businesses increased. Mm. Everything changed. And that's what God's doing. He is leveling the playing field. Yes. 
thing. I'm giving everybody a reset and a restart and a brand new beginning. But those who have ears to hear and eyes to see, that's why, Isaiah, I totally agree with what you guys are doing with the media. God bless you. I applaud you. This is incredible because this is going to be the future. And not only that, but what you're doing with the living rooms, because this is something that the Lord showed me, Isaiah, years ago. He mm -hmm. said when when the church in America gets persecuted, which is already happening right now, and it will more in Jesus' name, uh, but when the church, mm. uh, which is a good thing, that's what I said in Jesus' name, yeah. uh, but when the church in America gets persecuted, the two things are going to happen. Number come on, one, come on. The big, the big mega churches, all right, and and churches in general, but churches, mega churches, uh, they're going to get struck, and they're either going to become government controlled, like the churches, self churches in yeah. China, yeah. Number one or number two, they're gonna break out into little house. Come groups, on, I believe it. Church. I believe it. That is the original yeah. initial Acts Church model in the living room yeah. in the homes of your yeah. family units. So it's gonna be two things: either you're gonna sell your soul to the mark of the beast, which means you're gonna be controlled and monitored by the government, or number two, or socialism or communism or the leftists, whatever's going on right now, or number two, you're going to actually. Uh, be hidden in the underground churches, Come on. like my church in the underground basement in Los Angeles, Koreatown. But you're gonna you're gonna run for the Come movies. On. You're gonna run for the hungry places. You're gonna run into the little niches, the niches. You're gonna run into the places that nobody knows about, and you're gonna rumble in the Holy Ghost. And that's what's happening. And really, like you said, Isaiah, the separation of goats, sheep, or lost sheep and found sheep, or the separation of the wheat and tares. But the Holy Ghost is exposing right now the yeah. plot yeah. and plot of the enemy and, and i really believe those who have ears to hear just like you doing the living room come on come on so this means that actual leaders and real christians and believers are rising right now so go ahead Isaiah. no yeah i i, I agree 100 with what you're saying i think that we need massively persecution in the american church we need something to shake us up out of the slumber out of this baby christianity this complacency you know really it's a spell that has come upon the church a demonic spell that has lulled these believers to sleep. I was talking this last week to a pastor of a large church out here who was sitting in the an office with the senior pastor and the senior pastor said, you know, we don't, we're not, if you're going to speak in tongues, you can't be here. If you're going to believe in the Holy spirit being filling people, you can't be here. And literally I was telling this lady that so many people in the American church, if they really caught the fire, they would get fired from their church, that there is a great persecution. I was preaching at a church and the Lord gave me a prophetic word for this church I was preaching at. And the Lord says, Isaiah, this church, the church I was preaching at, I, I said this over the mic is going to be a refugee center for those that yeah. are getting lit on fire in the American church people are going to begin to leave all these churches and they're going to come here and they're going to be able to find healing and breakthrough and deliverance and revival and awakening i honestly believe that right now god is sifting the church god is purifying the church that we're seeing who's the goat who's the sheep i was thinking about proverbs 24 10 that says if you faint in the day of adversity your strength is small guys i want to preach to the chat right here this is not the time to shrink back this is yeah. not the time to be afraid this is not the time to sit back and to wallow and to be asleep in the light and to not be praying now is the time to worship like you've never worshiped now's the time to pray like you've never prayed now's the time to spit the pacifier out of your mouth and say god i need to be the light to these people at work i need to be the light in my marriage ben let me just say this if a lot of the people in the chat and a lot of people in the american church say they got quarantined and let's just say, Ben, I'm um, just hypothetically, I just thought about this for a month. We were not allowed to go to a church building and me, my wife and kids for a month, we were quarantined in our house. We couldn't go to work. We couldn't go to church. Most men and women and fathers and mothers in the American church, they wouldn't even know what to do without the, the hour and a half Sunday morning service. They wouldn't know how to pray for their marriage. They wouldn't know how to pray for their family. Guys, just because it may be where we can't gather in large buildings or this can't happen, we still have to carry on. We still have to get this lifestyle and say Christianity can't be about me getting babysat or me getting spoon fed or me having a pacifier in my mouth. But I believe...